All right, Andrew, we spent more than a decade on the U.S. Marshals 15 most wanted fugitives list. Corey Gaston is facing a slew of child sex charges dating back to 2007. He had managed to skip bond until today. That's when U.S. Marshals arrested him in Guadalajara, Mexico. Rod Maloney's been following this story for us. Uh, Rod, he skipped bail and skipped the country. Yeah, twice, Devin. He was arrested bonded, skipped twice, found his way to Mexico. Now, we're in the neighborhood where this attack happened. In fact, this vacant lot right here is where the house stood 12 years ago for this heinous crime. This is the picture police, federal officers, and the victim's family have longed to see. 41-year-old Corey Deshaun Gaston apprehended. Gaston looked decidedly different today as U.S. Marshals brought him in handcuffs to Chicago on a flight from Mexico this morning. A decade on the run has not been kind. Gaston's gone bald. At a news conference, the U.S. Marshal Service spokesman Aaron Garcia said Gaston lived a very rough existence in Mexico. It looks like he may have been selling uh, Zippos or cigarettes, uh, cigarette lighters. He had, you know, he had a bunch of them at the time of arrest. Maybe he was doing that. They, they don't know yet. They're still working on that. Mexican police arrested him and became suspicious and started checking his identity. A fingerprint match connected him to the audacious and terrifying 2007 rape at this West Side Detroit home. That sunny day, Detroit police mobilized quickly to try and find him after Gaston allegedly propped a chair up to a bedroom window in the early morning hours, grabbed the nine-year-old girl, told her to stay quiet, drove her to a nearby field, raped her, and then returned her to the house, threatening her life if she told. Police say Gaston left behind his cell phone and DNA. So now he's coming home to face trial. U.S. Marshal Joe Abdullah. For us, it's a huge victory. It's a huge relief. We're extremely happy also for the victim that they'll get a chance to uh, face this person and hopefully see the justice that they deserve. Now, Gaston is in Chicago tonight, the Cook County Jail. He's going to stay there probably for a month because they say that he hasn't been at all cooperative and he's likely to fight extradition. That'll take at least a month, maybe more before he gets back here. If convicted on the charges that he's alleged to have committed, He's facing up to 30 to maybe 40 years in prison. Back to you. It's quite a story, Rod. Do we know how he ended up in Mexico mm -hmm. in the first place? No, they don't. In fact, they've been chasing this guy for a long time, and they've had sightings all over the country, most recently in Alabama, where they had the fugitive team go after him there, and they suspect that that kind of pushed him toward Mexico, and he apparently got there on a fake passport, and they're investigating him for that charge yeah, perhaps yeah. later on. Yeah, more trouble, too. All right, Rod.